Well, we talked to our guys, you know, you know, at the beginning of overtime about the rules just to make sure everybody was clear and that once our offense went out and didn't score, you know, we couldn't let them, you know, get any points because that would essentially end the game. So we were looking forward as a defense to getting on the field and getting the ball back to our offense and giving our offense a chance to score and win the game. So, you know, I think our guys embraced the moment. We were able to get off the field. Our offense took the football and of course, LaShawn did a terrific job uh, with the finish, and that catch by DT was incredible. So it worked out you know, perfect from our standpoint. You're right. Those are brief seconds in a lot of different scenarios are going through your mind, and you're probably consulting with your, in this case, the offensive coordinator and talking through some of the scenarios, and then you have to make a final decision. And uh, you have to trust your gut You know, sometimes in those situations. And it worked out perfectly for us uh, to be able to get that win. And, I think Sean made a great decision. It really worked out well. Yeah, we inserted him in the starting lineup yesterday, and he did a terrific job. And we plan on barring anything happening this week in practice, uh, his starting again uh, against our next opponent, Miami. So, yeah. And that would be in, in place of, in Ramon's spot, correct? Correct. Okay, thank you. Ramon would be his backup. Sure, yep, yep. Now, I mean, there was a lot of talking amongst our players about, you know, how to change the strides, um, the movements, you know, just the importance of just staying where they needed to be and not getting out of their uh, positions. Uh, there was a lot of conversation on the sideline and being able to adjust uh, to the situation. And I thought the guys did a, a pretty good job of adjusting. Uh, it was not, you know, obviously a natural situation. And you had to adjust everything that you were doing. Uh, and I thought our guys did a good job of that. Did you think um, that penalty was called in the two-point conversion? Do you think it should have been called one play earlier? Um, you know, I think the officials got it right when they did call it. Um, and I'm glad that they, they, they called it when they did, obviously. And um, uh, it's a clever play, but I think they got it right when they called it. I think they got it right. Got yeah. there. <laughs> <laughs> I told you after the game, I said, uh, you know, a lot of people are surprised that you could step in and, and do that. I said, but we've seen this before, huh, Joe? And we both laughed. So it's good to see Joe come through for our team. and. Uh, not surprised. He he has the ability to, to make some plays and some key moments, and he did. Um, you know, I think the officials got it right when they did call it, um, and I'm glad that they 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 called it when they did. Obviously, and um, uh, it's a clever play, but I think they got it right when they called it. I think they got it right. Well, it just shows you the contrast, probably on every team, but in particular our team, because we had a number of guys who've never been. In, in a slow game. I think uh, DT was one of those. He talked about it uh, after the game. So um, it's just the, the nature of our business when you got so many guys from so many different parts of the country. And then Kyle, of course, who's played in many of cold weather games, uh, you know, it's nothing new for him. And just the, the reaction is going to be different than a Tre Davis who, you know, from LSU, but has never played uh, in this type of condition. So uh, it's probably a natural thing to see the reaction by uh, uh, Tre Davis versus a Kyle. We were, we were looking at it going like, you know, how are you going to give a guy a minus on this play? And you can barely make out who it is on this play. So we were, we were talking about that. And yet you still want to, you know, grade them correctly. You don't give them any false positives. But uh, it was not an easy game to look at and grade and, and determine whether a guy should get a minus or a plus on this particular play. Because sometimes you could barely make out, you know, who was who. But, uh, but it was challenging, but we still are going to put together a few plays for our guys to look at and try to improve on some areas. But it was not easy grading this game, for sure. Uh, whatever it takes for us to win, that's what we'll do, you know, whatever it takes. Uh, we get the same results, of course, you know, the results. Our fans were, like I said earlier, they were just terrific. Uh, I, you know, I, I, I looked up in, in uh, pregame, and, and, and then as the game went on and saw the Bulls field, and I'm going like, Wow, and the noise. I mean, we had some noise out there as well, which made it difficult for the opponents. So our, our fans were terrific uh, to stick it out through, as we all know, some tough conditions. Uh, but to be there cheering us on, pushing us, it's a big deal, you know, when you're the home team. So uh, we need to keep giving them something to, to shout about, and uh, we're going to try to do that again this weekend. Your car showed in when you got to it in the parking lot? It was, it was, it was hard to get out, but uh, but I enjoyed getting the snow off because after a win, you know, nothing gets you down. So it, it was, it was all good, all good.